big time on it. And my Pop Warner coach who used to kick me in the ass if my stance was bad, hanging on the floor. That, that's really where it starts, right here. And, uh, you know, although my name is coming into this Hall of Fame, it's incredibly humbling. It, it's really a, a product of this community, as I see it. Because without this community, I wouldn't have been playing football in the DES field right out here, where everybody's parked every other day with the uh, Hanson brothers and Pearson and all the neighborhood kids and Jerry Gresham still on the sideline coaching the evening then. You know, I mean, that's really where it started for me. So it, even as a very young boy, that Bronco symbol was something I desired big time. I had two wishes when I was a young kid. That before I died, I wanted two things to happen. One was to kiss a girl. <laughs> two, I'm, just, I'm serious, Let's play varsity football. After that, I'm done. No problem. That's how I changed a little bit as I got older, but you know, that's how bad I wanted to wear that varsity hat. And I would do anything to get there. Um, so then we start going to high school football games. And you know, again, it wasn't just the Stanley Holmes and the Jerry Greshams and the Austin brothers that you looked up to and wanted to emulate. It was the band, Super Duke. Remember that song? Da, 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 da. I mean, it's a blood curl. I mean, unbelievable. It wasn't just that. It was a cheerleader. Introduce yourself. Right on. I, I still say that at family events. Anyway. So it, it, again, it's more of the community. It's people lining the field at a San Joaquin Memorial game in what was it, 78, where it was just big. And we kicked their ass every year, I think, which is all the better. But the stands were packed, and as a small child, oh, I, I gotta get out on that field someday. So anyway, that all worked out well. But again, it, it's this family and this community that makes that Bronco symbol so important. And uh, you know, I need to thank uh, my first coach, Albert Katrina. He was good, very good. Um, my parents. My father and mother, um, I, and Bill Van Wert, who set up a match and let me win my first wrestling match, so I think I was kind of tough. And then having to tell my father I wasn't going to play basketball, that was a very tough day. But thank you, Bill, for getting me on the mat, because that was a game changer. And uh, what else was that going Anyway, uh, again. Thank you, community. Um, it's been a, a, it's an honor to be here today and to catch up with so many of you. And I look forward to many other Broncos um, feeling that pride that you have when you're, when you're a Bronco. I live in Portland. And people ask me, where do you live? I live in Portland, Oregon. Where are you from? Those about Cheers. Our next congressman is Heather Hamir.